Ever wonder where your food comes from? Today we'll walk you through the fascinating journey of Atiso flowers from the garden to the market. You see, every bite we take, every sip we drink, it all starts somewhere. It's not just about the final product that we see in our local grocery stores or markets, it's about the journey these products take before they reach us. It's about understanding and appreciating the process, the hard work, and the love that goes into growing our food. And that's why we're here focusing on the Atiso flower, an incredible ingredient that many might overlook. This humble flower has a story to tell, a journey to share, and it all begins in a garden. Now let's dive into the world of Atiso flowers, shall we? The journey of the Atiso flower begins with a single seed. These seeds, small and unassuming, hold the potential of a vibrant red bloom, the Atiso flower. Known for their health benefits and use in traditional medicine, these flowers are a joy to cultivate. Starting off, we select the finest seeds ensuring they are healthy and free of any disease. The soil is prepared meticulously, keeping it rich and fertile. The Atiso flower thrives best in well-drained soil that's rich in organic matter. So we mix in compost or aged manure to give the soil that extra boost of nutrients. Climate plays a crucial role in the growth of the Atiso flower. It prefers cooler climates with temperatures ranging between 55 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So we plant our seeds in the cooler months to ensure optimal growth. Once the soil is ready, we sow our seeds, spacing them about 12 to 18 inches apart. We cover them lightly with soil not forgetting to water them immediately after. Water is vital in this initial stage but care must be taken to not overwater. The Atiso seeds need moist not soggy soil to germinate. Now the waiting game begins. The magic of nature unfolds underneath the soil, unseen to the human eye. The seeds start to germinate, a process that takes about two to three weeks. During this time, we ensure that the soil remains moist and the seeds receive plenty of sunlight. Each day we tend to our garden with patience and dedication, keeping an eye out for any signs of disease or pests. It's a labor of love, nurturing these seeds into seedlings and then into full-grown plants. In time, the first signs of life appear above the soil. Tiny green shoots make their way towards the sun. The sight of these small sprouts is a rewarding moment, the first milestone in the life of our Atiso flowers. With patience and care, our Atiso seeds begin their transformation into beautiful flowers. And so, our journey continues, from a single seed to a flourishing garden of Atiso flowers, each bloom a testament to the love and care poured into the garden. As our Atiso plants grow, they require diligent care and attention. Just as you or I need proper nourishment to flourish, so too does the Atiso plant. This is the stage where we become the caretakers of these precious blooms to be. Watering the Atiso plant is a delicate balance. We don't want to drown them, nor do we want them to thirst. The key is to keep the soil consistently moist, but never waterlogged. This ensures that the roots have access to the water they need, without becoming oversaturated which could lead to root rot. Just like us, plants also need food. But not just any food will do. For Atiso plants a balanced fertilizer is ideal. This provides the plant with the essential nutrients it needs to grow strong and healthy. We apply this fertilizer regularly, but with moderation, to give the Atiso plant the nutrition it craves. And let's not forget about pests. These unwelcome guests can wreak havoc on our Atiso plants, robbing them of their vitality. To protect our plants we use organic pest control methods. These methods safeguard the plant's health while also preserving the integrity of our soil and the safety of the beneficial insects in our garden. But nurturing the Atiso plant isn't just about the physical aspects. It's also about the emotional connection we form with each and every plant in our care. We check on them daily, observing their growth, and making adjustments as necessary. We celebrate each new leaf, each new bud, and when the time comes, each vibrant flower. The nurturing process is a labor of love, one that requires patience and dedication, but it's a labor that yields incredible rewards. When we see the fruits of our labor literally blooming before our eyes, the sense of satisfaction is beyond words. With our diligent care, the Atiso plants bloom into vibrant flowers, ready for the next phase. The moment has arrived. Our Atiso flowers are ready for harvest. Harvesting Atiso or artichoke flowers as they are commonly known, is a process that is as delicate as the blossoms themselves. The flowers have signaled to us their readiness to be harvested. How, you may ask? By transforming into a vibrant pink hue, a spectacle to behold and a sign that they are at their peak. This is when the art of harvesting begins. It's not a simple pluck-and-go process. No, 
Harvesting Atiso flowers is an art, a dance that requires a skilled hand and a keen eye. Each flower is carefully examined, ensuring only the best are selected. The technique of harvesting these beauties is a delicate process. The stem is cut just below the flower using a sharp knife to ensure a clean cut. This is crucial to prevent any damage to the flower and to keep the plant healthy for future blossoms. But the care doesn't stop there. The harvested flowers are then gently placed in a basket, careful not to crush their delicate petals. Each Atiso flower is treated as a precious gem, from the moment it's cut until it's safely nestled amongst its peers in the basket. The harvested flowers are then transported with utmost care to the sorting area. Here, they are checked once again for any signs of damage or disease. Only the best of the best make the cut. This rigorous process ensures that our Atiso flowers maintain their superior quality, from our garden to your table. Our Atiso flowers are now harvested, but their journey is not yet over. Our harvested Atiso flowers are now ready to embark on their journey to the market. The transition from garden to market is a meticulous process, one that requires a lot of care and attention to detail. First, the harvested Atiso flowers are cleaned thoroughly. We make sure each flower is free from dust and insects. This is a critical step as the cleanliness of the flowers directly affects their quality and shelf life. Once cleaned, the Atiso flowers are carefully packed. They are delicately placed in boxes, ensuring that they are not squashed or damaged. The boxes are then labeled with essential information like the harvest date and the variety of the Atiso flower. This helps the buyers and consumers to make informed decisions. The packed Atiso flowers are then transported to the market. We ensure that the flowers reach the market as quickly as possible to maintain their freshness. The transportation is done in a temperature-controlled environment to prevent the flowers from wilting. Upon reaching the market, the Atiso flowers are received with much enthusiasm. The vibrant red color and the unique taste of the Atiso flower make it a favorite among many. It's used in a variety of ways, from making refreshing teas to garnishing exotic dishes. The journey of the Atiso flowers from the garden to the market is not only a process but a story. A story of hard work, dedication, and the passion to deliver the freshest produce. It's this story that makes each Atiso flower more than just a flower. And there you have it, the journey of Atiso flowers from the garden to your table. That's the journey of the Atiso flower, a testament to the labor and love that goes into our food. We've seen how it starts as a tiny seed, nurtured with care, water, and sunlight, until it blossoms into a beautiful bloom. This is not just a flower, it's a symbol of dedication, hard work, and passion. Its journey doesn't end in the garden, it continues its voyage from our hands to the bustling market where it's appreciated by many. Every step of the way, from seed to bloom, from garden to market, is filled with an immense amount of care and attention. This is the story behind your food, a story of love, labor, and a deep connection with nature. Think about this the next time you enjoy your meal, or even a cup of Atiso flower tea. Perhaps it might inspire you to start your own gardening journey, to feel the soil between your fingers and experience the joy of seeing something grow because of your efforts. Next time you see an Atiso flower, remember its journey.